Today's at-home activity will be related to the book I read, The Fed Up Cow. And inside the book, it's kind of silly. I hope you'll go back and watch the video where I did the read aloud on this story. Um, this cow thinks, well, kind of the grass is greener on the other side. So this cow decides that he might like to be a sheep one day. So this cow is trying to be a sheep one day. He lives on the farm with all the other animals. Then the next day he said, I don't want to be a sheep anymore. I want to be a pig. So he paints his body pink and he goes to roll around in the mud, just like the pigs. Pretty soon he did not like the smell of the pigs, so he wanted to be another farm animal. He decided he wanted to be a chicken and sit on some eggs. Well, he sat there all day for actually a whole week. He didn't fit and he didn't lay one egg. So he decided this is not the life for me. So he went out, took all his feathers out. Pretty soon he had an amazing idea. He saw something so beautiful and wonderful. It was his friends. So he decided he wanted to be a cow after all. And he was very happy to be a cow. So this activity, it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. It's kind of a um, pretend play, dramatic play. You'll need paper plates, crayons or markers if you like, and um, scissors. So what we'll do is help your child create a simple little face mask. I made a cow, so this will represent our cow killed to the cow, or you can name it a boy name if you have a son, or whatever you like to do. And your child, you'll ask your child these questions like we have in the past. What are um, open-ended questions? So we want to ask, what was your favorite animal? And your child might, you know, want to be a dog or pretend to be a dog. Okay, how can this cow, this is your cow, how can your cow pretend to be a dog? What can we do to make him into a dog? Or what kind of noise can you make to pretend to be a, a dog if you're a cow? How would a bark sound? Hmm, I wonder. Um, and then you'll ask your child, show me, show me what else. What other animals that are different from the story do you think you would like to pretend to be? And this encourages language and thought and putting together a plan. Maybe they want to write down their plan, what they might need or the type of animal they want to be and the type of colors you need or um, what kind of sound. Maybe they don't know the animal sound, so you can help them with that. But this is just a silly, fun little activity, and it gets your child thinking. And what's also a good thing is to write down their words. Maybe you can create a little book, or you can write their words on the back. Today, we pretended to be dogs and kitty cats or a snake even, whatever they want to do that day. But um, this is all good ideas to encourage dramatic play, pretend play, and encouraging more language. Um, I hope you'll do it with your children, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.